In this discussion, you can see how to use underscore sequence attribute in model level or other terms like what is the underscore sequence metadata in the model level. So we will see the purpose of this attribute and in case you missed previous discussion about underscore log underscore access attribute, please check link is given in description. Let me give you some overview and then after we will see the real test case regarding this underscore sequence attribute. Like basically this underscore sequence is used to generate a, generate a unique ID for the specific table. And here like in Odoo, like each model, like whenever you create either your custom model or the existing model, it will have its own SQL sequence. Like let's see in database side and then after we will move to the real test case. So this is the database and uh, let me open the student profile here and uh, before that profile let me see the records also. Let's say the school profile having 8 records right now sorry the student profile having eight records and school profile having a like five records here and if you see the id is one then after it will change the unique id so it will handle by the sequence here so let's see how it is working so let's say select star from like student sorry school dot student here you can see there is a two name will display here this is the school underscore student which is the actual table name and you can see here like the same table name with underscore id underscore seq seq means sequence and this is the sequence name for this table so it this sequence is maintaining the primary key of this table let's say how it will work so let me select the parameters and you can see here right now we have a sequence name then after the last value start value increment by one and what is the maximum increment like what is the maximum value for this table is this one and then after the rest of the parameters here we will see the some real test case for the same and uh, we will also create one more sequence for the table yeah and we don't need to worry about this sequence like Odoo automatically manage this sequence name if you provide any table name like this for example you are providing school.student then after the in database side it will create school underscore table so same name it will use in sequence along with underscore id underscore seq okay so let's go to the editor and let me open our custom module let's say school and here right now i don't have any new class so first of all let me add here like class test seq purpose models dot model and test seq purpose like this and let me add one more field i mean the colon name in database terminology Okay, I'm not adding any view part here, but let's see in background and yes, if you want to see the sequence parameter, you can add like this, but here the cache, like whatever you are passing here, like your custom SQ name, like if you are providing any sequence name here, then Odoo won't 
use this sequence name it will create based on this underscore name so you have to remember this one we are not using this one until unless we are inheriting a specific model and we want to use the same sequence name so you can add here that sequence name so that is the difference you can override the sequence name also but uh, if you are not overriding or you, you are not inheriting any existing module then you don't need to use this sequence name let's see how it's work first and then after we will try to also create the underscore sequence forcefully whether we will check like it's allowing to create the custom sequence or not now we are focused on how it will create the sequence close and let me add here the database name and upgrade the module school okay successfully upgraded and let's see here like select star from test seq purpose and you can see here this is the table name and this is the sequence name for example you can see here right now we have this table and we have this sequence name so if i will create a new record from background or from the Odoo's front end side it will change the sequence so it will change this sequence here let's see how so right now it's a one so we will get the primary primary key as a one here like insert into seq purpose and values like weblands okay it's created and you can see here it will create the one then after one you can see here the id is two so you you can see here it will change the count and if you want to increment by one to two or any other sequence then it is also possible but here you have to change from the background background means in you have to log in to the you have to connect to the database and you have to file the sql query like alter sequence and the sequence name increment and then after space then after two okay so you see here like alter alter sequence so it's changed and you can see it now it's increment by two so it means like whenever you create a new record then it will generate the id as a increment by two like let's say if i will create a new record for the for this table technically it should be one two or three if we are not changing this sequence this increment by but now it will generate like one two and now it will generate as a four let's see how three and it's successfully upgraded 
so you can see here it, the id is changed as a 4 and if you see the sequence you will get the last value is 4 and it's incremented by 2 so this is the purpose of the underscore sequence but right now we are not using that sequence and if we are forcefully upgrade the sequence here then what do you want check that sequence name like test force sequence this is my model name test force x sequence and here like fields dot care sequence name something like this and so going to database side and let me upgrade the module okay it's successfully upgraded and uh, let's see test force so now you can see here like test underscore force oops we didn't add the sequence name sorry like test cases model like let's say weblearn sequence like this so right now we have overrided the sq underscore sequence attribute right now here and we added like this and let's start to upgrade okay successfully upgraded so here you see this is our table name and this is our sequence name and it will automatically add the sequence name as table name plus underscore id underscore s e q and if we are trying to find this sequence in backend side in database side so it won't be available like does not exist so i hope you will have a clear picture about underscore sequence attribute and in case you having any doubt please comment below and see you in next session